Hello, welcome back to another video. In this one, I'm going to show you how the flight plan flight plan works. So whether you have a Beepop, a Beepop 2, or a Disco Drone, it'll be the same. Except the Disco, I'm going to make another video, but I don't have a Disco Drone, so I can't show you any footage. But for the Beepop Drone, I'll show you footage. Alright, so you click I have Beepop 2. Now, the first thing you have to do is tap somewhere, and that's going to be your starting point. It always starts off at 10 feet, and it's green. Now this thing here is the direction of the camera. Also if you tap and hold, you can edit and change the altitude, but I think I think 10 feet is good. Now I'm just going to go through some things. This thing here, that arrow, means go back to home. This one is padlock, so when you click it, you can't change anything. So if you if you do that, you don't accidentally change something. This here, I'll show you later. It's really important this just that button just goes to where your controller is or device this changes the um, how it looks right now it I like satellite there's satellite with street names and there is just regular that's satellite with street names and that's regular I don't like that though I like satellite okay there this one here you can go to all of your save plans and you can create a new save save as delete or open um, and then this one down there starts your flight plan so you have to be connected to your drone and your drone has to be in a safe place before you do that so I'm going to do the next point here oh, unpadlock first 250 feet okay and now what you can do here is this line you can insert, edit, or do a progressive course. So edit, you can change the speed. I'm just going to change it to 15 feet per second. Um, I'll show you insert. You just add a point here. You can change the altitude if you want by clicking and holding, doing edit. Um, but I don't want that, so I'm going to delete. And I'm going to show you progressive course later. All right, so there's this abandoned house up here, which is really weird this Balfour company here this is Balfour really terrible company um, don't ever consider it it's a horrible company they basically just kick these people out of their house because they want to build here um, if they do build here I'll be flying my drone over them and pissing them off all the time so it's gonna be funny okay so I'm gonna fly here set it to 200 feet um, maybe actually 150 feet and fly around here because I want to look at that and then there's neighbors there they get mad if I fly so now I want the drone to always be looking at this house so I click and hold and do point of interest now I click it click all those points and as you can see those little arrows appear um, those arrows show where the drone is going to be facing so the drone flies here and then it looks there at 10 feet and flies around. And then here, I'm just going to go back to the tree, but at 200 feet. That tree is pretty tall. Um, and then I'm just going to simply land back in my backyard. Okay, so I'm going to padlock it because I'm done. I did sh tell you I was going to do one thing, so I'm going to go here. Progressive course. That basically puts those little arrows there, and you can guide them, and it basically guides the drone better. Um, constant course, I like that better. See, because progressive, actually, I like progressive course. So it flies here, and then as it's flying, it slowly tilts and looks at the houses. If you do progressive course, it's going to fly straight to here and then do the tilt. Um, I'm gonna do progressive course there too. All right, Oops, undo. Look away. Look away. That makes it a better view. And good padlock. Now I'm just gonna save it as save. Uh, I'm just gonna say test. I'm gonna have to replace it. Now we're going into the cool thing. This button up here is really important. Now you see how it's all red? That means it's going to be filming the entire way. 
If it's not red at one point, that means the film's gonna stop, and that just looks bad. If you see those little things there, that means it's progressive course. I mean, that means there is a point of interest, and you cannot change the camera angle on padlock. This here is takeoff, so that's always gonna be there. This here, here, hang on, landing, you can get rid of it, and then it just hovers at the end until the battery dies or until you take control of it and land it. Um, this here is camera, so if you accidentally got rid of the camera view here, see, that means it's going to stop filming. It's going to film for a little bit, stop, and then film again. I like to do that, but if you want, you can instead put that there. It, one thing, it cannot film and take photos at the same time. So it's going to film, stop, take photos, and then film again. So I like it just to be filming. And this here is really fun. It's a break. So you can make 10 seconds. Basically it flies to a point, and then it stops for, for 10 seconds. Or what I do is I stop it for like 600 seconds, which is 10 minutes. Oops. And then it's just a really cool video of the clouds. This here is takeoff. Take off, you can get rid of that. This here's landing, get rid of that. Oh, one more thing. If you want to get rid of something, you just click. Ah, shoot. You just click and click and drag. And you have this little you know, circle, and then you bring it to the top here, and it's gone. This is cool, because it, it rotates the drone. So you click on it, and you can change the angle it rotates. It doesn't go have to go in a full circle and you can change the speed it rotates. So that's really fun. You can get rid of that. And now this. This one is really interesting because you can change the camera angle to zero. That means the drone looks straight. You can change it to negative 17. That means the drone looks upward. You can change it to up to 83. It means the drone basically looks straight down. One more thing about that. Oh, and you can change the speed. So I like 30 degrees per second. Um, one more thing, you see those little dots there? This cannot go there because that, because the drone tilt is already specified there, you can't change it. What I do though is change after. I change it to zero, so it looks down and then after it looks straight again for the full flight. I like this plan here. Click padlock and then go to save. This is the plan. Um, one thing, if you click on that, that's about how long it's going to take. So it's going to be about a two minute flight. Um, I hope you enjoy it. If you have any questions, leave in the comments below. Please sub, and I'll see you on the other side.